Greetings from Michigan, Milton. <laughs> Where are you and what are you up to in these weeks before the MSL lands? I'm in Williamsburg, Virginia, helping us uh, evaluate the next class of uh, what we call discovery missions. So those are planetary science missions. So um, you are on the science team of MSL's weather instrument, and I know you're an expert on the planet's environment. Can you talk about, after the dust settles, what kind of environment is the rover going to find itself in? Mm. It's probably a sandy soil. There are some sand dunes around, and the goal is to climb some, um, uh, um, I don't know, a hill. <laughs> and uh, to find the soils of different uh, times on Mars that has uh, evidence and searching for evidence of liquid water or organics in the past. Do you know uh, what the temperature of the area will be like and whether, what the weather's like there? Yeah, it's warmer than where Phoenix landed a few years ago, so it's closer to the equator. Uh, during the day, it can be almost close to our evening perhaps slightly above uh, the freezing point of water, you know, zero degrees Celsius. And during the nights, probably, I don't know, maybe 50, 60 degrees Celsius below the freezing. Um, when, um, when do you expect that we'll start to hear news about findings? <laughs> well, any time after landing. Uh, a few days after landing is possible, I think. The first pictures that you're going to see will be the first image taken by MSL. What is, what's your biggest hope for this mission? Hmm. My biggest hope is to find evidence for liquid water brines uh, close to the, well, not uh, millions of years ago, um, recent past or even today, and I think that's possible below uh, a layer of soil that could be a few centimeters deep. So you're more you're more interested in finding evidence of liquid water now than of finding evidence of past or current organics. Well, no, it's because uh, the chance of finding organic is much higher if you have any liquid water because the liquid would concentrate the organics where they are. So the best place to look for organics is if we find any evidence for water activity in the past or today and search for organics there where we see the evidence. So what will this all mean for the future of space exploration? Hmm. Well, I think uh, there is a big hope here that MSL lands successfully in this exciting place. And if we find clear evidence of uh, organics, that will be, the planetary science community will be really excited. So this will be a pathway for a mission that would go there, collect the samples and bring back to Earth. Well, thanks so much for talking with us today. Is there anything else you wanted to mention? Uh, uh, your question about uh, what, when we are going to discover something. Uh, in fact, uh, I forgot to mention that MSL has uh, a camera that will take picture during the landing. So the first images that you see will be from MSL descending at the surface of Mars. Those should be interesting pictures. Yeah, and the other thing that I'm excited about is that this place where MSL is going to land, there is evidence for salts there. So then it's, uh, I mean, it's likely that uh, water activity uh, is really um, playing a role in changing the environment there. How does this fit in with the findings that you had on the Phoenix mission? Uh, it's basically this uh, different latitude. Phoenix was in the polar region where we know that there is lots of water ice now. And the region that MSL is landing is much warmer, so there is no water ice very close to the surface. But uh, brines could be stable in regions where neither water ice nor uh, liquid water would be stable today. So it's possible to find some uh, salts that has a large amount of water in them. Okay. Thank you so much for your time. 
And, You're oh, welcome. Well, last question. <laughs> Tell me, where will you be on landing night, and what will you be doing? I'll be at JPL with the science scene. It'll be very exciting. <laughs> what What will you guys be, be doing? We'll be preparing to operate MSL as soon as it reaches the surface. Thank you very much. Talk to you later. Thank you.